Hey guys, what is going on? Addy AVA is back here again. This one's going to be a tutorial on how to increase your performance on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, ever since the updates that have been going on recently, there's been a heavy increase in those stutters that you get like when you're coming into land on your approach, especially in like highly populated areas like New York or LA, stuff like that. Um, so guys, I'm editing this video right now, and I just want to say that I think it's hilarious that I'm about to start stuttering while talking about stutters. Nah, whatever, get back to it. I'm gonna show a quick example of a stutter that you might be seeing. I'm gonna show an Alright guys, so if that looked familiar to you, I'm going to show you real quick how to minimize the stutters that you're going to be getting. First, you're going to go to Options, General Options, go into Data, scroll all the way down, you're going to see this rolling cache here. Um, turn it off, and delete it. Don't worry, nothing's going to happen to like any of your add-ons or anything like that. Like Everything is fine, all your progress and stuff will be saved. It's not going to delete anything actually in the game. It's just going to delete files that are taking a bunch of bunch of space. So after you delete it, apply and save. Now we're going to go out of the sim. We're going to go to NVIDIA Control Panel. So go to NVIDIA Tr Control Panel, manage 3D settings. We're going to go scroll down to shader cache size, and we're going to turn it off. We're going to disable it. Apply. Okay, so now it's applied. X out of it, and here you're going to have to restart your computer. So after you restart your computer, come back and I'll show you the next step. There's only like two more things. Alright, now that you're back, you're going to open your file explorer. You're going to go to your users you're going to go to yourself then you're going to go to app data local scroll down till you get to nvidia and then these two folders right here the dx cache you're going to empty out i've already done it and you're going to empty out the gl cache you can literally delete the entire folder um i can't do it right now because my sim is open but delete this folder. I already did it with the other one. Delete everything that's in here too. Don't delete the actual folders. Go in them and delete everything that's in here. Go in here and delete everything that's in here. After you do that, we're going to go back to the NVIDIA control panel. Let's we'll open that real quick. So scroll down again to shader cache size. And you're going to turn it back on what you had it before. I had it on driver default. You're going to apply it. Close out of it. Now you can open the sim. Go back into general options. Back into data. And then turn your rolling cache back on. And enter how many gigs you want it to take. So for me, I like to do around 8 to 10 gigs. So I'm going to do 10, apply and save, it's going to install the rolling cache. So the more gigs that you do, the smoother of an experience it's going to be, the more like performance you're going to get, but it's also going to take up more storage because it can store more files because you're giving it a larger amount. Um, the lower it is, the more subjects you're going to get, the higher it is, the more performance, but less storage because it's going to take up more. Um, so you should see an increase in FPS. Uh, or at least the stutters after this. If you don't get an in increase in FPS, that's completely fine. But when you're coming in on approaches, we all know those stutters kill immersion. It just, it's a no good. So this is a good way to temporarily get rid of them. You can redo this as many times as you want. So say in a month or two, or I don't know how long it would take, but let's just say it's been a month and oh, I'm starting to see little stutters again. 
repeat these exact steps, boom, it's going to fix it again for a brief period of time. You can do it as many times as you want. Um, just want to say that I'm not the first one who's discovered this. There's been other videos too. Um, so full credit to the people that have came up with it. I'm not sure who came up with it, but I've seen another video on this. I just wanted to spread the word out to you guys because it did help me a lot. And I think that the more videos on it there is, the better it's going to be because everyone in the community is going to get those stupid stutters out of the way. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, leave a comment down below. If it didn't, let me know as well. I want to see if it's working for everyone or if it's not. So, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you later. Peace.